Hi, this is Aldi and welcome to my finds for today, Sunday, September 24th, 2017, Flea Market Finds. I went back to try to find the book I stupidly left there uh, last week, but the seller wasn't there, so too bad, I'll find the book another day. So the first find uh, was my favorite find, and uh, uh, in the booklet of, uh, of Boring 78s was this one, and I finally found it. Actually, I saw this first. So this said Leroy Anderson, the girl in satin. Said, "Okay, let's check the other side. And this time maybe, yes, it is. Okay, I finally found the typewriter on 78 RPM, and there was a big sticker on the uh, the label. I think I still have it. Oh, it's all crinkled in the, the trash. One of these, and I peeled it off and took four minutes to really slowly peel it off to not rip the label and." Yeah, it's nice. So a little bit of scuffs and scratches, but very playable. It's only a minute and 34 seconds long, but everybody knows this song. If you don't know what the typewriter is by Leroy Anderson, just Google it. I'm sure it's it's there. It's uh, imagine Jerry Lewis doing his typewriting routine. That's the song. So I've been wanting to have this on 78 for a long time. I got it for a buck. And uh, then I, at another table, I found uh, this album that I wanted to pick up. Like the guy, however, the, the, the was a little bit cheap. He, he was asking, well, he's a Netflix market. I guess he can ask whatever price he wants. But they were uh, $2 each, 3 for 5 bucks. But they were very ordinary record, like common records. There's a lot I left there that had it been like in a yard sale, I would have picked up. But this one has, uh, this is Jeanette with the big hit Porquetevas, which used to be played in the local uh, station here in, uh, in Quebec uh, in the late 70s when in my childhood and this is the uh, Spanish uh, pressing from uh, Hispavox from Madrid and uh, the, the cover is ugh, it had some bad scotch, yellow scotch tape top and bottom. I took it off and then the sleeve was really gummy and sticky so I had to put back some scotch tape to cover the yucky uh, or ruin a, a protective sleeve and just shove it in the side the side to just put scotch tape. So, but the record is okay, no scratches and it's good music. I played the whole album today, loved it. And uh, there's a song I really like is uh, Oye Papa, Oye Mama. It's on YouTube. Check it out by Jeanette with one N. Oye Papa, Oye Mama. And the big hit was Parquetevas. Really cool song from the late uh, 70s. And I also found this record. I'll switch the French here. The Pierre Letourneau. Une bien belle journée sur l'étiquette uh, DSP. International. Et j'ai fait comme, mon doux, j'ai jamais vu ce disque-là avant. Il doit fait ça entre son album euh, sur étiquette euh, La Compagnie, avec euh, Maurice Richard dessus, et son album euh, avec Tous les jours de la semaine sur étiquette Campus. J'ai même pas été voir sa discographie sur euh, le parolier, qui, qui est le meilleur site, à mon avis, de, de, de référence pour les bons jeux québécois. Hein. Fait qu il faudrait aller voir si fait que c'est ça. Mais, mais, il est pas payé, je l'ai écouté au complet, malheureusement, il n'y a aucun hit, aucune chanson connue là-dessus. Hein. Euh, on dirait qu'il n'y a pas eu de promotion. En tout cas, moi, moi je suis. Je... Hey, il y a Dieu. Il y a Michel Pagliaro qui a travaillé là-dessus. En tout cas, euh, fait que j'étais content quand même de le ramasser. Fait que. So I offer these two records. Uh, I lowered the price. I said, well, look at this cover. It's all you. So I, I, I manage. I offer two bucks. No. So I said, okay, uh, three. And he said, okay, three dollars. So it comes to a dollar fifty cents. This one alone, despite the cover. I, I think that's a two dollar record. It's, I'm really glad I never see it. This one is a one dollar record. So and then on another table, uh, the same lady who sold me a bunch of four, six point fives last week, before I found my uh, creative coaster, uh, uh, she had more records. Uh, same LPs but a bunch of new four five. So I, I looked and I I picked these four, and she remembered my deal. <laughs> so I, I she was okay with twenty five cents each for me. And she told me to come back next week. She would have more. So now I, now I have to come back next week. <laughs> I was going to give up because there were not many sellers this morning. But uh, she even gave me her phone number so I can call her and ask her uh, what what kiosk she'll be and which day. Anyway, uh, Ju Julien Claire à chaque jour and la citadelle. Ça c'est sur étiquette euh, pâté. Une importation de France, made in France, I guess. 
Uh, yep. And I took it because not for the song so much as for the picture sleeve. Okay, 25 cents. Uh, Claude François, ici les choses de la maison, the things in this house. Euh, peu de bûchage, un peu de un peu usé, mais l'autre bar, Terry, me dit absolument rien. Je pense pas que j'ai cette chanson-là nulle part. Ce bar-là joue mieux. Euh, de toute façon, je suis avec Claude François, fait que j'avais pas le choix de le prendre. Je, je pense que je l'ai pas déjà en 45 tours. I didn't know what this was. It looks so clean. I'm always tempted to try things like that when I obscure 45s of the 60s and they look clean. So this is Paul Davis. I just want to keep it together. And this side is Pollyanna. And finally, and, uh, the last 45 for 25 cents. No scratches. Clean. Cool and the gang. The gang's back again. Oh, I think that's the B side. No. Cool's back again. That's the B side. Dash 2 and dash 1 here. There we go. So, uh, the last thing I got is something that might be useful one day, but it's so cheap. I had to pick... The guy had a whole stack of them for a dollar a piece. And uh, so these are uh, privacy filters for laptops. And it's a long story, but you know, I have old laptops there. They fit, so I said, well, might as well. That's the kind of thing you pick up just in case you might need it. Just because the price is so low, you cannot just wait until you need it because what can you get for a Canadian dollar today? I mean, if you needed one just to get one shipped to you, it would cost like 20 bucks. So I took two and I'm going to slide them uh, in my shelf there. So uh, I'm, I'm still glad I went there even though I was disappointed by the low number of uh, people because it was very sunny. Maybe it was too hot, maybe that's why people didn't go to... the sellers didn't come. But uh, just to get the typewriter on the 78 RPM record, I'm so glad. Thank you for watching.